Let's get to it. Okay, YouTube, what's going on? It's Mesa back at it with some Destiny. All right, guys, time to talk about how you and myself are going to hit light level 335. Because for once, Bungie's given us a ton of different things and activities to do to get gear to hopefully get you to 335 pretty fast. No longer do you just have to worry about running the raids on your three characters every week and praying that RNG is good to you. And because of the new infusion one-to-one -one system where you could take any piece of gear and infuse it with something higher and not have to calculate anything. If you get a 335 drop, you can infuse it into anything and that old piece will be 335. It's best to have three characters, guys. I know for me, I would like to get my Warlock, that's my main, up to 335 as fast as possible. So if you have three characters, you want to do all these activities on all three characters and gear you have, if, you know what, if it's not that great in terms of the roles, you want to go to that one character you want to get to 335 first and infuse all that stuff. Now, I'll be Mr. Captain Obvious here and say you should do the Prison of Elders level 41 first, okay? That's going to drop up to 320 gear. So if your character is stuck between like 310 and 320 or even below 310, go into the Prison of Elders level 41. It's match made, okay? So you can go in there, get endgame rewards and also the treasure chest you don't need a key for and get 320 loot. So now your next source of 335 gear is going to be the Prison of Elders level 42, okay? That's not match made, you gotta go in there with a fire team. I don't know how hard it's gonna be going in there when I'm only like 320 or uh, 319 on my characters right now. It's probably gonna be pretty difficult. Remember, when we watched them on stream, all of them were 335. Now also, you wanna make sure every week you pick up the Elder Sigil. That's the scorecard you get from Varix, okay? You've got two things on there. One, if you reach 30,000 in the high score, and 9,000 in your cumulative score, okay? That's gonna guarantee you an armor piece and a weapon that's gonna be up to 335. Now they also bumped up the rewards and also the difficulty for that matter for the Heroic Strikes, the Nightfall Strikes, and the Court of Oryx, okay? The Court of Oryx can give you an artifact up to 335. What I'm guessing, and I don't know if they went into detail just yet, it's gonna be the tier three. So you might wanna make sure you have some antiquated runes charged up and ready to go that week, that April 12th, the uh, update drops. Now you also want to make sure you do those new strikes, the Blighted Chalice Strike and also the reskin of Archon Priest, Winter's Run, we're getting the Taken version. Those will have strike specific gear which can also drop up to 335. Now along with all the things that are getting bumped up in the Taken King for rewards and difficulty, so is King's Fall, okay? On day one, on April 12th, the raid can drop up to 330 gear. However, you might want to wait, guys, okay? There's going to be a hot fix, they said shortly after. They didn't say when, but then it could start dropping up to 335. So if folks want to raid still, you can and get 335. I would just wait. I wouldn't raid on day one. Wait for the hot fix. Now, I'm recording this prior to us seeing what's going to go on with the Crucible, but they did say that Iron Banner and Trials also, their rewards have been bumped up. And I really hope they do bump up Trials, because there's been so many times where I got to the Lighthouse uh, and just didn't get anything good. Not even in terms of light level for infusing things. I was way better off running the raid. But then again, that's just me. Also, those weekly Crucible bounties, kind of like that, give you the Nightfall rewards. They also have a chance to give you up to 335. So PvP folks, they should have you covered. We'll find out more this week. So now let's talk about engrams and packages, okay? Now first off, packages is gonna be your primary source for high-end loot, whether it's the weapons that are coming from year one to year two, the faction vendors and stuff, I they're not selling anything new of high light level, okay? Packages is the way it goes. You wanna make sure you got lots of modes of light and also do all your daily stuff, your patrols, your story, because they're bumping up all the rewards and the rep that you get for all your activities. Now, when it comes to engrams, guys, I'm hoarding mine, okay? I have 60, uh, like over 60 exotic engrams, okay? Here's why I'm saving them. When SRL dropped, it was an update. New exotics, well, year ones were turned into year twos. When I decrypted old engrams, they turned into year two exotics. I remember I got Mita Multi-Tool, Armor Materium, and a host of others. So I'm gonna be saving mine and opening them up on day one. So that's it guys, that's my little roadmap for what I would do to get to 335 as quickly as possible. Try to have three characters, and depending on which one you want to get to level 335 first, do all of those activities and infuse stuff onto that one character. So that's it guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Zet Twitter at MaceSean, check out my stream, links will be in the description. And that's it, I'm out of here like Vladimir.